My heart just... My heart breaks for these kittens. And for the little mama. They didn't choose this life. Why can't people be responsible pet owners? Why can't they do the right thing and get their pets spayed and neutered? It's just not right. It's not, it's cruel. It's a cruel, cruel life for these babies. There's the little mama who's taking her babies over there, but I've got the food. Well, there you are, sweet boy. Well, I think you're a boy. But they've been going under the greenhouse. Hi, baby. Did you see that I have foodies? You waiting for the foodie foods? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that one. He's a little brute. I'm so hungry, huh? I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put the foodies down, see? I have the foodie foods right here, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to come get you. I just want to come over here. It's okay. I'm going to put the foods down. See? I'm just coming to put the foods down. Right here. There you go, sweet babies. Come and get it. Come and have your food. I see you've been playing with the little toy I brought. Come on, babies. Come and eat. Oh, I saw you, little munchkin. Yeah, she has four babies. She has four little ones, and they've been hanging out here. Hi, darling. It's okay. You come and get your food. I'll back away. I'll back away. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. You get yourself some food. I think I'll be able to make friends with that one first. I really do. Come on, little mama. The food is out. I backed away, and you can come get some foodies now. I think the kittens are probably about five weeks old, based on their size. She's taking them out to teach them how to hunt. I've only ever seen three at a time, so I wasn't aware that there were three that looked like her and one little tiger stripe. This is something that I've always been very passionate about is kitten rescue. And how sad is it that that little mama is a kitten herself? How sad. Come on, munchkin. Hi, baby. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you, sweet boy. Actually, I don't know which ones are boys and which ones are girls. I really don't. Come on, baby. It's okay. Come get yourself some foodies. I'm trying to get them used to my voice and used to my presence so that they're not afraid when I come out and feed them. I don't want them to be scared of me. There you go, sweet darling. It's okay. Come get your food. I know you're hungry. I know you are. Come get your foodies. There you go, baby. I'm pretty sure that one is the runt. Hunger's outweighing fear. And how sad is that? How sad is that? My neighbor said that she thinks the mama girl belonged to one of our neighbors who um, was forced to leave and the kitten got left behind again. It's all right, little one. You don't have to be scared of me. I'm not going to hurt you. I want you to know that I'm the source of food for you and that I, I will take care of you the best that I can. 
I can't take them inside. I already have six cats of my own. But I do want them to get accustomed to me, accustomed to people. If I can tame them down, then that will make it easier to adopt them out. We do have some really good rescues in the area. And that would be their best hope for a future. I noticed little mama hanging around about a month ago. Maybe a little longer. And I've been watching her. She's not terribly afraid of people. Which makes me think that... She, she was someone's kitten. But she's not comfortable with me yet. I'll make friends with her eventually. I think these two are so starved, they're going to have that food cleaned up before their siblings and mama come and eat. But at least they're letting me be here, near them. Keep hoping the others will come out. I do have a bunch of uh, Shiba wet cat food. And I've been bringing out some of that once a day. And a couple of scoops of dry kibble for them every day for the last several days. And I make sure that they have water underneath the wagon there so that it stays cool in this heat. Cool and clean. They are so precious. I want them to equate me with food. They can, oh, it's okay, babies, it's okay. I just am getting a little bit closer. You don't have to worry. You come back out and eat. See, the one, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble approaching because he's, I think he's the leader. I think he's the alpha, he or she. And food is the driving factor in these kittens' lives. They just want to survive. It just breaks my heart. It's okay, little one. I'm just going to set this down. You're okay. You're okay. Now that I know there's four of them, I'll have to come up with another little nickname and figure out which one's which. My heart just... My heart breaks for these kittens. And for the little mama, they didn't choose this life. Why can't people be responsible pet owners? Why can't they do the right thing and get their pets spayed and neutered? It's just not right. It's not, it's cruel. It's a cruel, cruel life for these babies. We have a program here in the Treasure Valley called SNP, Spay Neuter Idaho Pets. And thankfully, they offer low income families discounted vouchers to get their pets spayed and neutered. And they have a low cost spay and neuter clinic. They also offer free spay and neuter for feral cats in Canyon County, which is where I live. If I can eventually catch Mama Girl, I will take her in and have her spayed. And eventually I will get the kittens done as well if I can just catch them when they're old enough. They're not old enough now, obviously. But it just breaks my heart. They didn't choose this life. It's not right. Anyway, there you see my newest mission here at Lewis Acre Farm. Be blessed. Love you guys.